Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Please watch the entire playlist for all the questions. Question 32. You have a fabric tenant that contains a semantic model named Model 1. Model 1 uses import mode. Model 1 contains a table named Orders. Orders has 100 million rows and the following fields. You need to reduce the memory used by Model 1 and the time it takes to refresh the model. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. A. Split order date time into separate date and time columns. B. Replace total quantity with a calculated column. C. Convert quantity into the text data type. D. Replace total sales amount with a measure. Pause the video, take a moment to think about it, and then check the answer. The correct options are A and D. Let's break down why. Option A. Split order date time into separate date and time columns. This is beneficial because splitting the date time into separate date and time components often results in better compression. Each component, date and time, has fewer unique values than a combined date time column, leading to reduced memory usage and potentially faster query performance if you frequently query by only one component. Thus, this is correct. Option B. Replace total quantity with a calculated column. This option is incorrect. Although calculated columns can be useful, they are computed and stored within the model during refreshes, consuming additional memory. So, replacing a direct query column, like total quantity, with a calculated column would actually increase the memory usage, not decrease it. Option C. Convert quantity into the text data type. This is also incorrect. Converting a numerical column, like quantity, into text would likely increase memory usage. Text data types generally have worse compression compared to numerical types and could slow down processing times during refreshes and queries because operations on text are less efficient than on numbers. Option D. Replace total sales amount with a measure. This is a correct choice. Using a measure for total sales amount instead of storing it as a calculated column or directly in the table can significantly reduce memory usage. Measures are calculated at query time and do not store data within the model, meaning they don't add to memory load during model refresh, which can speed up the process. Here's a concise summary of the differences between calculated columns and measures. For a more detailed understanding, Make sure to visit the links provided in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video with another question. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.